And moving to the second one, Andrew, uh, trust. Um, there you say you talk about seeking diversity and not validation. And I was, when I read the HBR article, uh, I found uh, you referring to Abraham Lincoln yes. as an individual who proactively sought diverse perspectives when he made decisions. Could you talk a little bit about what we can learn from the way he went about soliciting diverse views and making and, uh, making good decisions? Well, what he did was that, um, and, and this is set out very, you know, very interestingly in a, in a biography which I read, he brought together people who he felt did represent a different set of views and one, therefore, where discussion and conflict could give rise to a better choice at the end. Now, most people wouldn't necessarily choose this route. And I know myself from having run more than one organization or one part of an organization, that often one likes to have people around one who frankly agree with one. And you know, it's a much more comforting business to have people who chime into what one says and agree and so on. But actually then one doesn't often get the kind of challenge that a point of view needs before it can be passed through and go to an informed choice. And there's the famous case of, um, the, of Alfred P. Sloan at General Motors, um, when people did not agree, sorry, when people agreed to an item on the agenda around the board table, asked people to go away and think about it and then come back to the next meeting so that somebody could present an alternative so that they could, they could at least discuss it. Now, I'm not suggesting that's a very good use of everybody's time, but just let me give you an example of something that I've done here, which is, and that happens particularly if people are somehow afraid to speak up, to say, I'd like somebody, I'd love to name somebody, you know, just to put the alternative view so that we've heard it. Now, that might give somebody courage, as it were, to put forward a view that they have without feeling that they are, um, they are causing a problem in terms of their own position in disagreeing with the majority of people in the room. 